today we have some of the usual folks that are at every every Saturday's market down on East State Street. They're here on campus. A lot of the students may not be able to go to the Athens Farmers Market, whereas here on campus it's much more accessible uh, for the students to come to uh, interact with the local farmers and vendors. It's really an opportunity to try to bring students and the OU community together sort of in a celebration of small sustainable businesses and local agriculture. We've got a bunch of different vendors from our Athens Farmers Market here and we're trying to bring in some of what goes on in our community to Ohio University's campus. Lila Bean, Lila Bean, Lila Corn. This is part of getting to know your neighbor and that, that sense of place here uh, in the Athens area. I think what students can really get exposed to at an event like this, the OU Mini Farmers Market, is to get a sense of really what is out there in the community. One thing that, that really separates this is the fact that you get to have one-on-one -on -one interaction with the vendors. And what I've heard from a lot of vendors is that they've really had an opportunity to get to know students and to hear what students like, and that students have been able to ask them questions about like how long they've been in the community, you know, what it's like to be a vendor here. And so it's, it's an educational experience as much as it is a shopping experience. There's a whole bunch of people doing business in this community that they get to experience and then contribute to. Well, one, you have a personal relationship with the growers. You can find them, talk to them, uh, and, and discuss just what their practices are so that you're at ease with what you're buying. Here with my farm and, and my business here, um, I load them in the back of my pickup truck and haul them directly here. So eliminate a lot of that long distance transportation expense. People have the opportunity of being able to spend their hard earned cash and give it directly to the people that make their food. That money can be used right here locally for the betterment of the local economy. An opportunity to meet people and taste some of the food, that's the first step in the right direction, I think. The nice thing about food is it crosses cultural lines, it crosses political lines. Food is food. It doesn't say, oh, you're a Republican, you're a Democrat, you're Asian, you're American. It's food. Why doesn't everybody appreciate that fact? We're really here to spread the good food word. I mean, this is real food, real local, real good. And the sooner we can get converts, I think, and get more dedicated locavores, uh, the happier we'll all be in this community.